Childhood culture has changed dramatically. Kids, this is a toy you've got to have. Look at the fun Debbie and Andy are having with these realistic ride em toys. Although it's true there was advertising to children back in the 1950s, the 1960s, even in the 70s, the amount of it was very confined in comparison to today. You want to get a sleep. From the time children come into the world, everyone's trying to make them a consumer. Kids are being marketed to through brand licensing, through product placement, through viral marketing, marketing in schools. We're going to get new equipment and stuff, and the McDonald's people are going to give us money. There's DVDs, there's video games, there's the internet, there are iPods, there are cell phones where you can download video. Watch videos, catch cast interviews, interact with a favorite wildcat. There's now ad for books and there are ad for songs. Not just ads, not just games, they're ad for games. Hotels are marketing to kids and, and car companies are marketing to kids, even airlines, you know, are marketing to kids. We're sending one lucky winner to Hawaii, courtesy of Hawaiian Airlines. Kids have far more influence today and it adds up to about a trillion dollars every year. That's a big business. What we have is the rise of 360 degree immersive marketing where they try and get around the child at every aspect, at every avenue. When they go into supermarkets with them and film exactly how they look at a product, pick it up, put it back down, the way they move around a supermarket. They film them on the playground, they film them in school, they film them eating breakfast, they film them going into their closet and deciding what to wear. What are the things that you need um, that aren't in here? I need a lot they of... They film them talking to their friends, they organize little friendship circles and film what they're doing. They even follow them into the bathroom. It's, um... Creepy. It's just absolutely creepy. Their goal is to insinuate their brands into the fabric of children's lives. Can I help you? Yeah. Here, see this? Go ahead. So the philosophy becomes cradle to grave. Let's get to them early. Let's get to them often. Let's get to them as many places as we can get them. And our goal is not just to sell them products and services, but to turn them into lifelong consumers. We're creating a future generation of super consumers. I want more. That's the basic consumer identity. It's shallow, it's about me, it's about me now and it's about me and these things. They're at the time in their life when they're forming kind of all their values and attitudes. They're in the formative stages. Shit, I impress myself sometimes. There's really a clear, very extreme division between what boys learn and what girls learn. Boys are tough, strong, ready to fight Walk much. and girls they need to be pretty sexy and how they look determines their value it objectifies both of them i mean where did she find that outfit like ugly r us <laughs> more like ugly r her <laughs> we are so funny and pretty i love us we need in a proactive forward-looking way as a society to say how is this changing us? How is this changing our environment? How is this changing our society? And do we want this? We need to look at this as a systemic problem, look at this as a societal and a cultural problem, and say we need to protect children from corporate marketing. We're the only industrialized country in the world that really doesn't have a policy about this. What does that mean for our future, for our well-being, and for their well-being? One in three children born in the year 2000 will develop diabetes. Children and a high blood pressure. Obesity. Type 2 diabetes. Antidepressants for children. Attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. ADHD. There is going to be a health care crisis, a, a concrete health care crisis. Life expectancy of kids today will be shorter than that of their parents. The first such decline in modern times. At what point should children and families take precedence over corporate profits. We have become a country that places a lower priority on our children's emotional, cognitive, social, even spiritual development than it does on training them to be little consumers. This is a lot more than about selling products and services. This is about the direction in which we are going 
as a culture, as a society, and as human beings.